Let's right. let's make it quick because I, I, we're gonna force Semper to watch the end of the season, and then we could talk about the finale more in depth next week with him. He better watch it, that old bitch. Right. All right. Let's do it. Uh. Mm. No, not this stupid shit again. No. No. Yeah, did you see AP's got a bumper like yours? Which one? He has this. He has the the guy in the chair. Oh, it's it's a pretty common clip. It's a very famous. It's from. Yeah, but he's using it as a bumper. You were using it first. I don't know. I mean, Should we go to war like we're doing with Daily Wire with... Um, hashtag Burnt Popcorn did it first. <laughs> with Los Tejas. Everybody steals all his shit. <laughs> I just went forward in time and stole it before he could make it. That's all. Um, so, this episode, you called it absolutely Groundhog Day. Yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of had a feeling that it was... Uh, it was going to, it was going to go that direction. Um, but I will say like, is unoriginal as that, as that, uh, premise Promise. is they didn't do a terrible job at it. I mean, it, the ending's really dumb. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but at least like there was some like emotional beats. They actually had some like character beats in there that kind of worked, you know? Yeah, it, no, I agree. I didn't again. Um, I didn't hate the episode either. Weirdly enough, even though I called it, and as it was happening, I was like, "Mother, what is <laughs> <laughs> happening?" And then he, you know, he goes back. He's back for like centuries to figure out. Um, what do you need to know? Calculus or um, he he just needed to know, like advance like physics. And yeah, shit. physics and engineering and bullshit so he, like that. You have to learn hundreds of years. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, and then it just it skips all that by going centuries later. <laughs> so he spent centuries. So even in like the, the whole next season could just be his like living for hundreds of years doing random shit. Yeah. And learning that. So that was kind of weird. But all in all, I, I didn't hate it. Yeah, the ending again doesn't make sense. The power levels never make any fucking sense. He's either under indestructible or he's a big pussy. Yeah. Like he can just before they in the first episode they made a big deal of putting a big suit on him and all the radiation and blah blah blah. And this one he just walks out there and destroys because he's machine. a time god now, Loki. Or Ken. Did you call me Loki? Yeah, I guess. I don't know how to take that. Loki's now a time god, Ken. There. Take two. Yeah, but he's not a, a time god until he destroys the loom or whatever the hell that. No, is. no, he he became a time god through mastering his his slipping thing. Well, did they go over why he's slipping? Was that did he was no. he given that? No, all the only thing that they they gave that was like any kind of hint to why that was even happening was he goes, uh, he who remains king, you know, in the high tower, goes, I who paved the way for that. That's what I mean. Did he give him the that power? Was it. was it like I thought it was like um almost like um um the Matrix where he was given that pro that that um ability to keep the whole process going because you learn this whole thing is just a a big setup to keep him he who rem oh, I hate saying that he who remains in power and in control of the timeline. I I don't know. It they really don't explain a lot. Like the plot doesn't get any better. But this episode's only like watchable because of the character beats they actually do. Like, yeah, yeah. they actually take a little bit of time to almost paint like, uh, like Loki is like like pity Sylvie. Pity Sylvie? Yeah, like he pities her. Well, isn't he like in love with her? I don't. I don't. They didn't really play on that. I think all I think the, he just wanted all to fuck shit her. I saw was like they kind of they kind of make it seem like he's uh, like that's his love interest. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think he just wants to fuck her, and in, in this season at all they don't play that at all. They just it's almost like, it's just like an old friend. <laughs> like, that's the way they treat her. I'm like, I kind of prefer that way. The uh, sexual tension didn't really work for me with those two. Oh no, I don't think in like in any real thing that like, these two would be interested in each other. At least. Fucking Loki would be interested in this chick. 
But in the show, I always took it. The only reason why he wanted to fuck her is because it was an alternate version of him, and that he's like very self-centered, shallow, and self-centered. Yeah, that's the way I always took it. Well, you said that he's she's not a fucking version of him. Well, she's technically not, but I mean, he probably still thinks of her that way. Like in 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 like comic book lore, she is a separate character. Entirely. Yeah. She's not a Loki. She just has magic powers. So yeah, they both have green powers somehow. I don't even think hers is green in the comics. It's green in the show. They just, yeah, they, they really just like kind of like took that character and like broke her and like mushed her until she fit in the square peg. Yeah, you know? it sounds like Marvel. Yeah. Current day Marvel. Really just didn't do much, uh, <laughs> much justice to that character, which it, it wasn't a a terribly notable character to begin with, but no, but they made her a main focal point in the season yeah, one and season yeah, two. They, Is there? Do you think there's a season three? I don't know how there could be. I really don't, because here's a spoiler. All right, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. Where is it? Nope, that didn't work. I forgot. I can't use buttons over here. Fuck. Anyways, here's a spoiler. All right, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Loki. Just uses his stupid time powers to break apart the the machine holding the timeline together, right? And then all the threads just start going everywhere, and they start turning black. And oh, while he's like trudging through all the time radiation, <laughs> he starts growing his horns again and growing a cape for no reason I that, whatsoever. I thought that's because of the radiation. It was this sort of burning his magic or like he's I, maybe who he is. i don't know it looked cool it made no fucking sense <laughs> true it wasn't it was a cool image yeah yeah M- did not have any weight with the story although it like it sounds like I, disney and uh, that's disney and fucking yeah in a nutshell but although like, i will it, it say looks cool, it doesn't make any sense i will say like the frustration and like just like wearing him down over the intervals of like little mm-hmm. time jumps. I think that was pretty like Tom Hiddleston or yeah, Tom Hiddleston did a pretty good job of like emoting how just like I've been doing this for hundreds of years. <laughs> yeah. And so when he was like, you know, trudging to the thing out on the, on the gangway and all this shit's like, you know, blasting off of him and taking away, you know, his clothes and giving him back his like horns and shit. Like it was like it 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 worked on that level where it was like this is him getting to the end of this fucking journey. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Everything else around it, complete utter nonsense. <laughs> but you know, it, <laughs> it held a little bit of weight, right? It held a little a- bit. Just a little. Oh, a time god walking towards a a, a time loom. Well, at that point, time you think, radiation. At that point, you go, okay, he can stop time now because he, he just took, he just just gets that power from dialogue. Never right? explained. He just has it on episode one of season two. It, no, no, I'm talking about like where he can literally stop the time now. That's what I mean. He can, like control. Time His, yeah, like the slipping it, the was like out of it. controlling, right? Like now he can literally just go put up a finger and stop. I think that that conversation in uh, multiple times. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be many times it was happening and we just were seeing the, the that, outcome of it. That's what I'm it. saying, though. The whole time anything was never explained and how no. this is happening to him. No. He just, wasn't hit by a bolt of lightning and he wasn't. Mm-hmm. Um, cr- uh, Kang didn't like stick a fucking button on him or something. There should be like a bolt of lightning from the timeline that struck him. Like yeah, while he was like doing the thing, one of those spaghetti strings, and it somehow yeah, it just whips him and like you know, ah, uh, now he's he's time person. And with that whole thing with the 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 spaghetti thing eating all of time, how does his time jumps make any sense if if they're like slowly eating time? Is what I'm understanding because every time he goes somewhere, it just starts eating. Now it. I won't say that they thought about this, but those can be explained through the branches. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cause every time you can think about it, every time he goes to that place, he's jumping to a, an alternate branch. 
Okay. Like the way that time travel would actually work. You you can't actually affect the future. You can only affect the future of a different timeline. Right? Okay. So that's to in my mind, that's where I'm that's where I like reason is like, okay, so this is showing like these are different branches and he's just jumping through the branches trying to fix this. My understanding is it's it's time, you know, he destroyed the loom. It's time eating itself. Yeah, or... which which you think about it like this, okay? If you have uh rot on a tree, right? It starts mm-hmm. in one place and it spreads out. Right? Exactly. And if he's running away from the rot further and further deeper into the the tree, which they actually use as a uh fucking visual later on in the at show. The end, yeah, at yeah, the end. Which I was like, that's a pretty visual. Why is it a tree? Is it because he's he's from Asgard? Well, they yeah, they make some reference, like I watched some reviews of it. That's like how they envision the timeline in alternate universes is like a tree. Like the the roots going in and then it branching off. That and the, there's actually a reason they do use it. It's kind of weak, but they they do have like some, especially in other movies where they have like some back information of that. Where well, I was wondering if it a- had some sort of connection to the world tree. You know what I'm talking I, about? I don't know. I, even in, even in his book, the the nerd, the little Asian nerd's book, he has like a tree. As mm-hmm. I thought. So I don't I don't know. I think it, the one I saw a couple of reviews, they all made reference to that. That might be it too. I don't know. Because the the world tree is uh is a reference back to Thor one. Yeah, yeah. Where that's how the Asgard views the the timeline or whatever. Or no, whatever it's how they just view the 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 universe. The universe. Okay. Yeah. yeah right. Which is like that. That makes less sense. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Because he's so the review I saw on what they what what was going on is. As he's walking through, he grabs, you know, a time thread mm-hmm. and it turns green. Yeah, which I don't understand. What was that about? Why is it? Okay. So, I get it's turning every, green because he touched lines, it, right? It turns green because he touched it. Yes. What's going on is from what I saw was um, everything, all the timelines are dying. Mm-hmm. So when he touches it, it turns green. It brings life back into it. And then he lets go. It, it starts turning black again. So he holds on to it. He literally, that's why he's holding all the timelines. He has to keep them alive. That's what he's doing in the end. He's grabbing okay. all the time. He's See, becoming I, the I get that. God. I, I get that, right? But why does him touching it make them... They don't explain that. Rejuvenate. Doesn't ex- They don't explain that. Because he's the god of, those... of illusions and mischief, right? Yes. So my thinking would be, if he's doing that, then that universe is now just going to be all illusions and mischief. Like his think, personality is going it. to infect every timeline. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, everybody's a, what are they called? A rock guy or a rock mo- ice lord or whatever the hell. Yeah, the uh, ice giants. Ice giant. Everything. Shouldn't they all be blue? Yeah. He, he, like, he never goes back to blue. Like, so can you just like, do you just stay looking human because you like the way it looks? Dude, how cool would it have been if he's walking through the, the time radiation and he just turns into this giant blue monster? That would have been crazy. That would have been way like, better. Oh, way shit, they remember Thor 1 happened. <laughs> yeah, remember, what was it that he was touching and his whole hand turns blue? Yeah, so, something like that. I don't remember yeah, exactly. and then they just completely abandoned. No, he's, uh, he's Loki. He's, they he's, haven't uh, thought about him being an ice giant since the Dark World. Yeah, it's never brought up again. It's like they His just skin like literally turns blue in that movie. When someone brings it up at, at Marvel, they just go, "Shh, shut up." <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> Who cares? Nobody cares. We're not they doing that. They want to see him asshole. wearing a giant hat with horns on it. Mm-hmm. Which his hat kind of looked dumb. i to be honest. His hat always looked dumb. I mean, no. I mean, I I thought the 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 uh, what do you call it the like the helmet version where he had like mm-hmm. the. The almost like the Spartan helmet that looked kind of yeah. cool, like the one from the first Avengers. That looked, yeah, that was kind of imposing. It, it looked cool. It's always stupid looking with those giant oversized horns. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I don't think that I the horns are okay. They're not practical, but they look cool. Like they're very stylistic. Mm. Like. It's, he doesn't have the frame. Maybe if Chris Hemsworth did it, he doesn't have the frame for giant horns. He's well, got a tiny head, meek body. It, even in the comics, he was always a slender guy. 
Yeah, and I don't agree with the horns. I think they're stupid. I, I think it's like those horns, like for like the people who draw it, are like the same shit like the Batman ears are. Like artists who do like the Batman comics just love drawing the fucking ears. Like it. Even when I was a kid, and I I would draw Batman and shit. I just love drawing the fucking ears, man. It just looked cool. Like I would even sometimes play with like making them like really long, like just ir- irresponsibly long ears. Again, stupid. I mean, I it's, get just, that it's stylistic. It. It's stylistic. You know, it's 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 one of those things that like if you can if you can translate it to live action where it doesn't look incredibly silly. It kind of looks cool, like silhouetted. Well, that, like, that was going to be my it, next point. Like the translation or bringing it to the screen to make it practical can't have like your fucking helmet being almost half the size of your body. I mean, in my opinion, I'm going to pull up a, a picture of him in the Avengers. Yeah, let's see the size of these damn uh, <laughs> horns over the years. Because I've seen one where they're obnoxiously big. And then I've seen the, oh, okay, that makes sense. They're not that, you know, they're not retardedly big. They kind of make sense with the story. No, they don't. They really don't because Vikings or whatever Norse mythology, uh, mythology you want to go with, uh, nobody has a helmet like that. It's stupid. Let's see. And I get, you know, you can go with real life, like ram horns and uh, long horns and all that. Yeah, that's kind of what what they're meant to, like, you know, echo here. That's come on, man. Dude, I think that looks pretty cool. That looks so impractical. Well, he's a god. <laughs> he's not. He's not gonna fuck. He's not. He's a god. He doesn't need a helmet then. If he's a god. I mean, it's it's you know part of the thing. Like Thor's got his helmet, you know, with the big ears doesn't and shit. Do that. It doesn't do that. Well, th- this is like back when they were still trying to be fairly comic book, you know. Yeah, Luke, Luke accurate. Gets it. Like, I think that's a that's a pretty cool like like especially that scene where uh you know Captain America goes, uh last time I heard someone talk like that it was in Germany or whatever the fuck he said, like whether at the art gallery and like Loki's like the staff and making everybody like bow, and he's got the big oh. fucking horns on. like that's what that's for. Is for that like only, that only works in the comic books because it's it's. I I disagree, but this is this is what I compare it to. You you remember in Stargate like the giant fucking headdress, the the gould would wear. Yeah, it makes them look larger than life. Right? I yeah, think that's, that's the part same of, reason. That has like that has like pictures and everything else, and they're that's robotic and, and it had a purpose. Like it was a fake head and it was robotic and everything else. That has no purpose. There's not, like, light beams coming out of it. Like, you know, even, um, what's his name, Hellboy. Mm-hmm. Like, when you had the giant horns, there was this thing glowing in the in the middle of it. Like, this is just giant horns. See, like, I think he looks very imposing here. Like, he looks great. Do you? He looks like a cosplaying game Well, I mean, you got fucking... He could do the shit with the staff. He could do it in the movie. It, it makes it definitely more imposing, but, like... No, they should have. They should have came up with a purpose for this. There's no purpose for his these giant horns. It's just part of his uh, his god costume, you know. I don't know. I I have to disagree. I, I would have I, to. I don't get it. I would like to know where that stuff, uh, like where that particular design came from. Like, there's probably some like behind the scenes featurettes out there that has costume designers talking well, about. They're, they're probably going by the comic book, and it's just over stylized nonsense is what it is yeah but that i mean that's the reason like they're trying to like echo the comic book is because it they want the movie to feel like a real life comic book right so you're gonna okay. have these over the top costumes did they echo that new show coming out <laughs> i forgot about it already <laughs> yeah, about and, and, that, and they made it so that's not even her powers anymore where she can just what is it uh, imitate or yeah. repeat? That's because yeah, uh, they Taskmaster that's be really like, oh, fucking that's tanked. Kind of stupid. <laughs> Taskmaster tanked like a motherfucker. That's, that show's gonna bomb so fucking hard, dude. They're putting out like at midnight all at one go, so they can just fucking have it out, and they'll probably mm-hmm. remove it in six months. Yep, go give it the Willow treatment. 